Good morning, Eagle fans. This is August Principal Report. You know, this is the first report that I've done for this actual school year. We've done a few, a few updates, but this time it's gonna be jam-packed full of a lot of information that you're gonna need if you wanna be successful this school year. I mean, you could have read the Code of Conduct and all that kind of stuff, but I mean, who wouldn't wanna just watch a video about all this great stuff? So that's what we're gonna do. To my sixth graders, I know we've never met before because we didn't get a chance to do Eagle Camp and I'm so, so sorry about that. We should write to the Pandemic Express about us not being able to do our thing so that you can get acquainted with our school and get to meet all the administrators and get to meet your teachers. But you know, I'd like to say that we've had a pretty good time the last couple of days of school. We've had an opportunity to work some of the kinks out and you learned your way around without getting lost. And if you did get lost, then we found you and took you to the right spot. So you made it. That's a success story right there. I love you. have heard a lot about what's called PBIS, Positive Behavior Intervention Support. And we need that sometimes because sometimes inside a class, people have big mouths. And they open their mouth in class and they get in trouble. And that presents a problem. So we need a way to show you that we care and to show you that we want you to succeed. We want you to not be able to, we want you to be able to close that big mouth sometimes and not always have something to say. So PBIS is what we're using. There's a whole referral system. There's a school store where you can go and you can buy stuff. Kids can log in through Clever and you can check your points. Now this is for traditional people right now. Uh, the remote people, I mean, we're still learning so remote. We'll get you whenever you get back to school and then after our teachers get real, real good at it, we'll help you. So our way of helping is PBIS. It's helping us, it's helping us. It's a win-win for everybody. There's not a lot of things going on in the world right now that are win-win, but this is win-win, my friend. Watch this little video about PBIS. Hi everyone, I'm here to talk to you about PBIS Rewards. But first, I have a few questions for you. How would you like to get your own very special lunch? Let me show you how you can have things like that and more, all while making your school a great place to be. Your school is going to set a few expectations for behaviors they want to recognize, and when you do them, you earn rewards. Don't worry, it won't be anything like cleaning toilets or washing your teacher's car. There'll be things you're supposed to be doing anyway, like being in your seat when the bell rings, being prepared for class, and walking safely in the hallways. See, when the whole school follows these expectations, you have more time to learn and your teachers and parents think you're a star. Plus, you're going to enjoy school even more. Are you ready to earn some rewards? Let's do this. Let me get that for you. You can also earn rewards by being on time to class, being prepared, and helping keep the school clean. Now this is the fun part. Let's go pick out some of the cool stuff we earned. You can grab something from the school store. I always wanted my very own speedboat. You can also earn your way into events. I have just enough points this grading period to get into that class trip to the moon. And that is how it's done. PBIS Rewards is a great way to help you make your school a positive place to be and to make school even more fun. By using the PBIS Rewards student app on your smartphone or on the school portal on a classroom computer, you can see how many points you're earning and see store items or upcoming events. It's just that easy, guys. Hate to run, but it's lunchtime for me. Luckily for me, I earned a pass to be first in the lunch line. But stick around so you can learn even more about how PBIS rewards will work in your school and how you can start earning rewards of your own. Told you. So once a month, we're going to have a PBIS day. Mm-hmm. For all the kids. PBIS day. It's where we can keep track of all the referrals, but we can keep track of the points. We're just re rewarding you for just doing good and just doing your thing. Kind of like a tardy party. Remember that? Sixth graders, if you don't know, they were like, but 
PBI is day. We're going to have different stuff throughout the year. So, I mean, you just got to keep doing good so that you can qualify to get into these nice little days. And you can buy stuff at the school store. It's going to be fun. Fun, fun. So, we have this SOAR matrix. Teachers have been explaining the SOAR matrix to the kids since the first day of school, since they got here, and they continue to do it every day. So, we have ways that the students are the expectations for every area of the school. And so that way, that's, that means that's the problem sometimes. If you don't know what's expected of you, then you don't know the correct way to behave. So now, if you don't know, now you know, you know. Now, let's talk about something that we all love, those cell phones. Of course, now things are a little bit different, just like everything else in the world, but... Your cell phone, since it's in your book bag and not in your locker, just for right now, that cell phone should be in the book bag and it should be turned off. If your phone is out, it's gonna be taken up. Just turn it off and put it in that book bag. Everything's gonna be fine. It's fine, you're gonna keep your book bag with you. You've got all the stuff. Everybody who probably knows your number, they know exactly where you are. You're at school, trying to learn where you are. Just a quick reminder about the policy of cell phones. The first time it's taken up, it's a warning. The second time is after school detention. It's like we're just trying, trying so hard. The third time will be a day of in-school detention. And yes, it's bored in in-school detention because it's in-school detention. It's not an in-school party. And then you'll get two days of in-school detention and then we're going to tell you to leave that cell phone at home. And I know you're saying it's my cell phone. I can have it then turn it off and put it up, then you can have it. Here we are, ready to talk about dress code. Now well, let's talk about all the things you can wear. Jeans, t-shirts, dresses that are long enough, jeans that have a hole in the knee and below. But jeans, We'll have a, a hole in the thigh. No. We have no thigh meat zone around here. We don't need your thigh meat out and about. It's about to be too cold for thigh meat in the first place. And it's going to come out. And then you don't want that to be sunburned. Or you don't want it to get too cold. You don't need that. Another no is leggings as pants. Put you a cute dress on top of that. You're here for two days. Two days. Find you some cute little jeans. Some little wedges or maybe some slides, something to go with it. And for boys, you also cannot wear gym shorts. No gym shorts. Gotta have a little button, a clasp, something up there to hit, hold them up. We'll let you know when it's comfy day when you can wear those types of pants. Just a quick reminder about attendance. Remember every day that you're absent, you know, on the two days that you're supposed to be here, You'll need an excuse and this year. We are not taking paper excuses. So either the excuse will need to be faxed to us on our fax machine, or you can email it to us at the email address that's listed below, okay? For like a quick second, let's talk about car ride a line and bus transportation. Now parents, I really, really appreciate y'all coming to pick up your kids from school and coming and doing car ride line. But, you know, here's just a few things. As you come out in car ride line, the teachers are going to come out. And the teachers are going to instruct you whether to come forward or, you know, they're going to yell, load up. And that's when your kids should run to your car. I know they're excited to see you. I know they are. And they just want to run to the car. But they can't. They got to wait for the instructions. You don't want to be responsible for hitting somebody else's kid. And we don't want your kid to be responsible for getting hit because somebody else's mama was so excited to pick up their kid. We don't need that. So here's the other key with car ride line. So when the teacher, your, your child doesn't recognize you, of course, because I guess you got a different car while they've been at school. When the teacher comes to your window, they not coming, you know, just to get in because they think that you're their ride. They're coming to ask you your child's name. So when they knocking on the window, it's not just because they're handing out newspapers on the side of the road. You really need to roll the window down. It's okay. I know it's coronavirus world and everything, but like we can't hear you through the window. 
We just can't. Especially with a mask on. You got a mask and the window rolled up. Come on now. Just roll it down, lean back, and be like, I'm here to pick up Jonathan. Say whatever you got to say. But open the door. Let down the window. Something. Please don't talk to us through the door because we don't know what you're saying. We don't know. And speaking about the bus, the bus is an extension of the school. So that means if you act up on the bus, you can be disciplined accordingly, like disciplined from the bus. I, I just can't risk you endangering the lives of everybody else that's on the bus at that point in time. I mean, I want the bus driver to watch the road and not have to worry about somebody who's jumping seats in the back because they don't know how to just sit down and just ride. So, if you get in trouble on the bus, you can't get kicked off the bus. And then if you put off the bus for a few days or weeks or whatever, then how are you going to get to school? And think about what hardship that presents for your parents. And what are they going to do if you don't have a ride? I don't know. But I can't feel sorry because I got 55 more people on the bus that got somebody endangering their lives. That's part not fair. Hey students of Calera Middle School, this is Nurse Misty and I want to start by welcoming everyone back. Whether you're at home learning or you're here with us at school, we are just glad that you um, have joined us and we are excited about a new school year. I just wanted to let everyone know that um, with all the craziness that's going on with the coronavirus, now for just this year, I have two offices. Um, my original health room where it's always been and it's got a sign by the door that says nurse misty and then if i'm not in that room if you'll just walk right around the corner just like you were going to see the fabulous counselors and right down that little hallway is two chairs and you'll just have a seat in those chairs and that is where my other little office reminder for the parents of sixth grade students to please, please make sure your child received the Tdap vaccine before they started middle school, before they came into the sixth grade. This is a required vaccine and I know it's been a crazy, crazy time lately, but we certainly don't want another pandemic on our hands. So just get the vaccine, bring me an updated immunization card and we'll be good to go. I hope y'all have a fabulous weekend. My bear is back. You know what that means. It's time for us to hear from our counselors. Mm. Love this bear. Hey guys, this is Miss Williford. And Miss Barnett. We're so happy to have you back in our building. We wanted to make sure you understood some ways to come see us and if you needed to come see us, how to make that happen. Okay, so we are your counselors, and if you need help with feelings, schedules, any of those things, you can send us an email or ask your teacher and they'll email us. You have to have a pass because of Corona, so you can't come see us without it. We will call for you when you can come down to the office to see us. We do want to see you. We're happy you're back. We've missed you. Yep. Room 100 by the front office. Hundo! So, so much to pay attention. I know this is a lot of information. We're going to have more information rolled out, of course, next month when we do the next one. There's just a few announcements before we leave. Number one, our athletic events. So we're trying to go mobile and digital this year. So if you can, before you go to the football game, by the way, the first home football game is on September the 3rd. <laughs> That's a very important day for somebody here. But if you will go to gofan.co, then you can buy your ticket online and then we'll validate it when you get to the front. Now for a volleyball and basketball games, you will have to purchase all of your tickets online because we're limited to the amount of space of people that we can have inside the gym. When we're outside of the stadium, it's a different story. So that's just FYI. Our first PBIS Rewards Day is going to be this Friday for K through Z and then it's going to be on Tuesday for our A through J students. All been such great listeners. Here's a world premiere of our video. Hope you enjoy it. First we were afraid. I was scared. 
to go outside. Kept thinking we could never live in this corona life. I ain't going out and the then door. we spent so many nights thinking how to wear a mask, but we grew strong. <laughs> and we learned how to put it on. So now we're back. There I go. From my hiding place. No, it's right here. We just zoomed and saw you with that sad look upon your face. Y'all look real sad. In March, we changed the locks. And we made you leave your keys, but now you're here wanting purchase order. You know, Kayla, take too long. Copies. Corona go. Get on now. Back out the door. You're not welcome. Just turn around now. Right now. You're not welcome anymore. You were never welcome. Weren't you the one that took our spring from us last year? Yeah, you did. Yeah, we cried. A little bit. But now we hold our heads up high. Kinda. We will survive. Teachers know how to play and they keep kids alive. We got all our love to give and we'll survive. Our kids will thrive. Hey, hey. It took all straight ahead. To run and hide. Thanks, Tiger Kid. Kept feeding meals all summer long to show our eager pride. We fed them kids. We spent so many days. All day. Just wishing things had never changed. Never changed. We used to whine. Some more than others. But now we hold our head up high. We held them me. up. Yes, things are new. No, they ain't. We have to stay six feet apart, but Kinda. we're still here for you. Corona thought that we would run. Nope, I ain't running nowhere. we would flee. But oh, it was so wrong. Yep. We are staying here to teach. Corona go. Go somewhere and sit down. Walk out the door. All the way out. Just turn around now. Mm -hmm. Cause you're not staying here no more. You can't sit over here. We clean the halls and we will always wipe the desk. You wipe You've got down. to go. You got to go. Wait You've got to leave our school alone. You gotta go home. You gotta get up out of here. Spring from us last year, yeah, we cried, but now we hold our head up high.